Hi guys, well I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year's Eve there, so here we are in 2025. And let's start the year with some more outtakes. So these are a few more of the just silly things that happened, yeah, during last year. Hope you enjoy these, and then let's chat a little bit at the end. Okay, 380. That's set. Let's start it again. Work. Very rapid. Oh, it's on 3.30. How's that happened? Okay, that looks quite clean now. <laughs> just when I decided to start. It wasn't me at all. That's just... Yeah. PMP and MPN could be the wrong way around. Uh -huh. This is really quite a simple circuit. This. Oh, I'm going to say it now. <clears throat> I'm going to say it now. Uh, uh, I've got a frog in my throat. Show a deputy get out. <laughs> That'll probably end up in the outtakes, that one. <laughs> These can all go together in here for now. At least again, I do know where they all are, and at some point, if I need to get a bit more organised with them, I will. This all uh, stacks up, by the way, just uh, this thing, so... I also have some SMD capacitors in here of all different sizes as well. Those are well organised. Okay, handy. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair and some car booty, yay, yay. Sound a bit exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair and some more car booty. Yay! Okay, so the first thing, I should have put green LEDs in on one pair so they change colour between sink and source. I just forgot that. You'll notice this one is going source sink and that one also source sink. This one is the opposite way round, and the same as that one. So what's happened here, when we place the components on the PCB before we routed it, we put the LEDs in the wrong place. We just swapped them over by mistake. If you look at one of these, you'll see that there's resistor. When I switch it to source, goes to 1.74 volts, and this is 8. Switch it over the other way. This goes to 759, and this is, is a negative now, okay? So the resistor just switches over. I'll show you why we're getting what you might think is a strange voltage on that one, okay? And this also explains why the LED lights up dimly when there's no op amp to test, yeah? So what you have is, your LED basically is here. Okay, the two of them. And these are the positions on the switch. So this is the output from the tester. And depending which position the switch is in, this either connects to here or here. Now one of these goes to VCC and one goes to ground. That's why we see a different voltage on the LED, okay? Now you might think, why does it light up when there's no device under test? Well, we have a path. So this is where your device tests. This is for channel three, non-inverted. This is for channel three, inverted, non-inverted and output. And we have the same for the other four. This is for channel three, non-inverted input. 
This is for channel three. This is for channel three, so inverting. Ah, fuck it. Here is the tester on AliExpress. So, 31 euros, just over nearly 32 euros. Here's the tester on AliExpress. Special off at the moment. Ah, stop bleeping. Okay. Uh, where were we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, ah. Okay, guys. So we've set the software up. It wasn't so difficult, to be quite honest. Everything nope. was on the USB stick, including the calibration files and configuration files. One thing we did notice, although the menus and the software were in English, when we went into the various requesters where we were trying to open files and such like, the buttons had like squiggly letters on. And we figured out or what Carlos did, it was in simplified Chinese, but it only affected those requesters. And Carlos figured it out that it was actually set to simplified Chinese as the language, although oh, stop it. Finish stop. So I'm going to have to reuse these connectors, which, well, if you watch the thing I did with the Shure microphone, was a pain in the butt, but these are actually, in fairness, a bit smaller. So I think I'll have to reuse these, which, if you saw that Shure microphone I repaired, that was a pain in the ass, but they were like a quarter of the size of these. These are a fair bit. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Sod off. If you saw the video I did on the Shure microphone, the radio mic, where I had some broken wires and a four pin plug, you'll know how difficult that was to do, but that was about a quarter of the size of this thing. These are much bigger, they're just not the same size as the new ones I have. Let's see. To be sure. Is this is just USB, yeah? Yep. It's no, it's always oh, a micro USB. Yeah. There, I think there's a there's a one lying on the bench here. Oh, where did that come I from? I think it just came from the bed. Right oh, it was with it. it was, yeah. yeah. And we just plug this in, and hopefully, it powers up. Green, green. That's really bright. That green. Oh, but I don't see anything on the display. No, I don't see anything on the display now? Green is uh, power. Green is power. I see. Yep, green is power. So why there's nothing on the display? Good question. Next question. Press the button on there. No, there was some some small thingy, but some magic. Yeah, well, revision zero, you know. <laughs> well, this works when it was on the breadboard. I know. So we have to uh, investigate. Investigate. Okay, let's get on with that. Start recording, okay. Okay, so we have power on the board, and this has a green light, so I'm guessing this has power, it has power bytes. So the first possibility is we have the power, and grab the wrong way around here maybe, or the SCLSDA. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. So we can look at the power, so this should have five volts. And we have a minus voltage there. Oh, I have the least one we got. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that would be an outtake. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to Learn. Oh, shall we do this again? Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of synchronicity, yeah? Yeah, we never get to see okay, okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. And a special video, so we have a very instre uh, interesting. Uh, ready? With the hi guys, yeah? Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. Oh, let's move that out of the way. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I'll move yours. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. Now this is interesting because she didn't specifically say she had two problems, just that it was dead, which it was. Who said bleep? <laughs> Don't know. I'm guessing for you guys, you can probably see it better like that, apart from when I have the overhead lights reflecting in it. Let's just see if we can get a good viewing point for you guys. Yeah, that's not bad. So we're gonna order some PCBs now. 
The first one is for the remade version of the <laughs> <John Wallace. laughs> it, it was it was it was a sweep jet. Yeah. You can do it. You can. Yeah. Uncle sweep. Uncle, Uncle sweep. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll see that reads into PCBWay's website. There's the layout. Okay, and we can make some decisions now. So I tend to leave this as a default unless debt wants to change anything here. Oh, then. I'm a big fan of thinner PCBs. I don't like 1.6 millimeters for for the thickness. Scroll up a bit. You okay. see the thickness. Go down to one mil. One mil. Okay. So that's just a thinner PCB. Mm -hmm. And I like to have. I think we'll have this one in red. Of course, that's a trademark thing. Yeah, red <laughs> with white silk screening on there. We need to change the country. You're not logged in. This is why it doesn't. Oh, right, 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 right. Country. Country. Well, let me just uh, log back in there. Let me just yeah. log in, shall I? I mean, I'll have to do this again now, won't I? may have to do this again, yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't very good anyway. Okay. okay, let's see what it does. Well, it's doing something. Okay. Have a different analyzer card in at the moment. The competition is very easy to enter very simple instructions to follow but follow these exactly correctly okay otherwise your entry will not be valid first thing first only one entry per person if i spot any kind of foul play going on then that piece to enter from this video all you need to do is post in the comments below to enter from this video there are two provisos one, you must be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber to learn your electronics player, no. Ah, that, that there. I won't be able to get that. Get there. It's I'm like a statue. Here. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm being quiet. Okay, Keep okay, going. okay, okay. Keep going. Out of the way. I'm, I'm sitting here. Yeah, I'm mostly Keep done with this. I'm mostly. Your legs are, your legs are in shot. Your legs are in shot. <laughs> you're out of shot now. And one of you lucky guys is going to win the P2. And one of you lucky guys, I hate these bloody mirrored images. And one of you lucky guys is going to win yourself a Thermal Master P2. And you can see it reads 5.11K. So it's in fact is fine. The important thing here is do not be concerned about resistors in circuit that read lower than they should do, okay? When I say lower than they should, I don't mean if they read zero. When I say lower than they should, I don't mean if they read zero. Okay. An EEPROM programmer and maybe an EEPROM programmer and often more than one yeah so you'll probably hi guys oh, okay I got that. hi guys welcome to learn electronics repair hi guys welcome to learn electronics repair i'm in ohms range so let's just check this resistor again ow Oh the hell that hit. Whoa. Bitch. Problem with short meter probes, yeah. Beware guys, or don't have your finger in the uh, target zone, yeah. <laughs> Let's go again. You would think no way, but in actual fact this is kind of yes way because what <laughs> yes, they've done is. is that supply comes in, where's it come in? Uh oh. Uh, turn it around so people can read this. No, no, uh, the other way around. <laughs> well, this way. Yeah, this way. So that supply actually comes in on which pin? There's a voltage in pin. I oh, simply managed VN. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Pointing device. Yes, pointing device. This one. Yeah, some electronic pointing device. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have the electronic pointer. Yeah, that was yeah, exactly have, the right place. Yeah, we actually have a switch in there that uh, switches uh, the thing on and off. And um, yeah, this is it. 
Yeah. So the switch we put in is an actual fact in here. Uh, no, it's in uh, the connection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was pointing to well, the Let me use again. It's somewhere here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So the switch itself is going to be here. Yeah. So just imagine a switch on here. Okay. Yeah. And the reason we put the switch there is so that you can recharge the unit without the switch on. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And I believe we have one more thing. So we talked about oh, yeah. this as a power bank. Yeah, and uh, we simply were going for, okay, if we got the thing out there, we can simply include one of these headers. So this is just a normal USB A? Uh, a USB A female, yeah. Yeah, a female. I so this think, is a yeah. USB oh, socket. Yeah, this is connected to the size, by the way. Before the switch. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm making the right. A mess of this. <laughs> so that actually goes to there. Sorry, yeah. Okay, hang on. If that's correct, if that no, goes no, to there. No, no, you're bridging the switch. I'm bridging the switch. <laughs> oh, move the switch over here. <laughs> you see how hard this was to design, guys? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, shall we put a switch up in here? That looks better, yeah. That works better. <laughs> so we can still so, switch the thing yeah, off. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see, guys, how the design process yeah. has to be carefully thought yeah, out. Yeah, we were, we were always talking talking about the things, and uh, yeah, know, the, probably came up with this. Yeah, in my head. we never make this up as we go along. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Who does this? <laughs> okay, recording runs. Guys, so you can see our professional looking front part that I left from you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mains cord here. This is. 220 volt we have here, 220, 240. So we're just connecting here. I'm expecting to get the bleep. Well, as you can see, I demonstrated very well there how not to measure AC mains voltage with a multimeter when you have it set to the 10 amps range. Yeah, because it acts like a short. You may be pleased to hear that although that blew the fuse in my Variac, in the power coming in and it blew the fuse on the lead coming out onto my bench the multimeter survived so once i got the power back on i tested the current range both 10 amps and the milliamps range again and it worked fine and so did the voltage range so i can say that multimeter is a strong one yeah it withstood that i wouldn't say you generally go and repeat that experiment because I did it for you by mistake. Anyway, hope you did enjoy that, guys. I'm sure there'll be plenty, plenty more to come from Learning Electronics Repair in 2025. So let's take that journey together. Ciao for now, guys.